that's hot. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back. I'm Quinn and today we're gonna hand dye some yarn with tea. I have only hand dyed yarn one other time. It was a couple months ago now, I think, and I hand dyed some yarn with avocado pits and it turned out pretty well. So this is some of the yarn that I dyed a couple months ago with the avocado pits, but I wanna try out another natural dyeing method and I have a bunch of tea so I thought I would try that. I honestly couldn't find a lot of information about dyeing with tea, so I'm just gonna kind of consolidate the information that I found and use my best judgment and do the similar process as to what I did when I dyed with avocado pits. So let's get started. yarn is officially in the dye pot so I think it needs to come up to temperature so it needs to come to not quite a boil like simmering I guess. I'm just gonna play it by ear and just see how it looks after an hour and a half and if I think it could cook longer I will let it cook longer and if I think it needs to sit overnight then I will let it sit overnight. I'll check it every 20 minutes probably just to move it around a little bit and ladle some of the dye liquid over the top of it just to make sure that the dye is getting spread evenly but it doesn't really require that much attention so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna continue having a nice very chill day. I'm still cooking on the stove so I thought that I would exercise a little bit. I'm gonna hula hoop and I'm gonna play Animal Crossing at the same time because I never have time to play any of the video games that I like so the only time that I can play them is while I hula hoop. I know I'm really good at multitasking so I'm gonna hula hoop and play Animal Crossing for the remainder of the time that the yarn is on the stove hopefully. And then we'll go check on the yarn. Also, look at my cute exercise outfit. My shirt's all dirty from the washer and I don't know what happened and I'm really annoyed about it. But it's cute regardless. I checked on the yarn after I was done hula hooping and it needs more time. I'm contemplating adding some black tea bags to my dye liquid. It's dyed a little bit, but I'm not impressed. That's what I'll say. I'm not impressed with this dye method so far. And I don't know if it's because I chose this like weird, weird tea. It's like roy like mostly rooibos but like not fully rooibos like i don't know if it was because i chose that tea to use but it's i'm just not impressed i'll let the yarn sit in this dye bath for maybe up to three hours total and then if i'm still not impressed i might add some black tea bags to it
So I did it. I added more tea bags. I took my yarn out and then I boiled some more water and added black tea, a bunch of it, and now the yarn is back in the dye pot and I'm gonna let it go for another hour and a half. It, the yarn was starting to look a tiny bit darker, but it just wasn't enough for my liking for what I wanted. So I think the yarn is gonna hopefully be a bit more saturated and pigmented with the brown but all the rooibos tea I think will give it a nice red undertone that I think will look really nice with my avocado yarn. I'm gonna check it after an hour and a half and then I'll probably just leave it and let it sit in the dye bath overnight before rinsing it out. I'm hoping I don't have to cook it for longer than an hour and a half but We'll see. I'm about to go to bed, but I wanted to check in and tell y'all what is going on with this yarn. I am very glad that I took that yarn out and added all those extra tea bags and did all that whole big thing because the yarn has so much more pigment in it now. My theory, my hypothesis is that because I used this tea that had like all these different things in it, it wasn't just rooibos tea. It like had all, you know, these different spices and all these things in it that just like the tea part of it where the pigment was coming from wasn't as strong. So I think I just didn't use enough tea bags. And so since I added all these extra black tea bags that were just purely tea, it just had a lot more pigment in it. So by tomorrow morning, I think the pigment should be fairly strong. It looks pretty good right now. And I think it will get obviously stronger overnight. So I think that that was the right move, but I'm very tired. So I think I'm gonna go lay in bed and read a little bit more on my book because I am hooked and I'll see y'all in the morning. Okay, it's been a couple days actually, I guess maybe 40 hours. I looked at it yesterday morning when I said I was gonna check back in with y'all and I thought that I might as well just let it sit for a lot longer just to see if it'll get more color. But now I think I am ready to take it out of the dye pot, rinse it and hang it up to dry. I'm very excited to see what the color kind of looks like after I rinse all of the dye out of it, all the excess dye. I hope that it worked. I hope that my weird, very strange process that I did, I hope it was successful. So let's go see. I'm so excited to show y'all my finished yarn. Here's a close-up look of it so y'all can get the full effect. And here's a comparison. So this is what it started out like, and this is what it's like after it's been dyed. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I think that it got quite a lot of color. Here it is next to the avocado dyed yarn. It's just so satisfying to look at these results of, I, I, turned, I turned this yarn into both of these colors. I want to use all of these colors of yarn in a project, but I gotta figure out exactly what I wanna make. But now that I have all of this hand dyed yarn and then I still have a bit of this undyed yarn, I just think that it's, it's time to make something. So drop your ideas in the comments cause I don't really have a specific plan yet. 
I don't know if I want to knit it or crochet it, I don't know. So I just got to think about it for a while, but I, I need to make something with this yarn before I hand dye more yarn because I just think that those three colors, the tea, avocado, and just the natural, I think they look so nice together. If you like this video and if you liked how my yarn turned out, then leave a like down below and consider subscribing. I hope you'll have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.